Hey there, Julian here, and welcome to Member Script 23, or Skeleton Screen Slash Content Loaders. So, first of all, what are those, if you're not already aware, and how do they look? So, like this, as you can see, this loads in, this loads in, and this loads in. So, the general consensus on these and why they're used so heavily is just because it makes the loading time feel a lot slower, and it gives people a feel of what they're going to see when they're on the page before anything has loaded. So... The way this is used right now is on static elements that load instantly. You probably wouldn't want to do that because there's just no purpose. There doesn't need to be a loading state. However, a lot of the more web app related, function related things that we have been doing, they have a little bit of a loading time. So with that being said, we want to optimize the experience as much as possible. And this is how we do that. So. Let's just take a look quickly at how this is implemented, and it is extremely easy. Um, there's just a couple things to keep in mind. So first of all, you are going to need the script itself and the CSS from Member Script 23. So that is this in this order with the script first and the style. And if you have this on a lot of pages, you could totally just put it, you know, body wide. I don't, so I'm just putting it right over here. And this is it just copy and paste it in i would say the only thing for you to actually keep in mind is here i will explain that in a sec but there is a duration set so basically let's take a look at one of these elements so this text one here this has a custom attribute set which is ms-code-skeleton that is what is going to make this happen it is that attribute and then you'll notice this 1000. So that is us specifying the milliseconds that we want this to happen for. As you can see, this one is 2000, this one is 3000. And how does that actually look? Again, with that context, as you can see, one, two, and three. So that is how you specify it. The other thing we have in here, that duration is simply the backup in case something other than number is written in the value. So if you just write like skeleton again in the value, it'll be two seconds. Anyways. So we have that, and that is applied to, as you can see, all of these attributes. Now, a couple things to keep in mind, which are dealt with here. One of which is that it is going to take up, as you can see, this box in Webflow. So if I go here and I take a quick look at the height, I have it set to 1.3. But actually, this one is not a good example. Let's take a look at this one, and let's go ahead and set this to 1. What is going to happen if I publish this, as you can see, this little tail of the Y is sticking out. And what we're going to notice is that, well, we can see it below and that doesn't look good. So you're either going to need to set the line height, which in this case, I'm totally fine with, or you're going to have to set some padding just to give it a little bit of wiggle room. That is it on, on that front. The other thing is this, these can only be rendered within div blocks. So the way that it shows up for the text is totally fine. You can add it directly to text and it is perfect. But if you try to add it to an image element, it isn't going to work. It's just going to do nothing. So what you need to do is, as you see, I have here something called pick-wrap, and that's what you're going to want to apply it to and then just have your picture inside of there. Um, this isn't just for images. It's basically anything that's not a div. So recommendation would just be wrap it if it's not text wrap it in a div and then apply the skeleton attribute to that div and the only other thing to keep in mind is as you can see here we have this picture and we have this wrap the picture and the wrap and you will notice that the wrap is a little bit bigger there's a little bit of spacing over here and the reason for that and also we have you know two padding set within here is because when you have an image there is going to be a little tiny like fraction of a pixel border around the image if you just have this attribute applied to something that's the same size. So you just need to give it a minimum of one pixel room added in there. And then you will, as you can see, have this very smooth looking circle loading. And that is it. Setup is super easy, but you do need to just keep those things in mind. Otherwise, it is either not going to work or it's not going to work how you expect it. So that's it. That's how you set up these skeleton loaders. And I will talk to you soon. If you have any issues or requests, just let me know. Julian at memberstack.com or in the 2.0 Slack. Have a great day.